Prime Minister Rabin even has suggested that, frankly, your total outright opposition to what's happening at the moment is so great, it's tantamount to being equal to that of Hamas, the extreme uh, Islamic resistance. Oh, I'm sure uh, there, there'll be those who'll try to paint us and the Likud somewhere between Hamas and Hezbollah. That's a joke. Well, as the Israeli government prepares to move the peace process on in tomorrow's upgraded Paris talks, one of those most opposed to what Prime Minister Rabin is doing is the leader of the Israeli opposition, Likud party, Benjamin Netanyahu, and he joins us live on the satellite from Jerusalem now. Mr. Netanyahu, first, presumably, you're none too pleased to hear that the negotiations have actually, if anything, been upgraded. I don't think the question is the upgrading, the question is the direction. Uh, the Israeli government is telling the Israeli people, look, we're not going to create uh, a Palestinian state. We want autonomy. Uh, unfortunately, what we're seeing is that uh, from the Gaza example, Gaza is, in fact, in all but a name now, a Palestinian state. Uh, and the same is um, likely to happen in the West Bank, which, as you know, dominates uh, Israel. Israel without the West Bank is 10 miles wide on a narrow coastal plain where 75% of our people huddle along a very crowded uh, Mediterranean shore. Uh, Yasser Arafat has said time and again, surely not on British television, that what he intends to do, as he said today in Jericho, by the way, is to establish a state uh, with Jerusalem as its capital and then to proceed to phase two to um, liquidate this truncated, um, vulnerable Israel. And this is what we oppose to. We don't oppose peace. Right. We well, want peace. Well, well, what we'd like well, to then... see is autonomy and not a state and something that we can defend. Well, it, it seems very difficult, surely, for you to engage in the peace process uh, if, in opposition, you're prepared to take a stance like that on Sunday where you personally appeared above a slogan saying, death to Arafat. You know, I found out about that slogan just today when uh, a member of my party said to me, you know, they keep talking about the slogan. And I said, where is the slogan? He said, it was right under you. Uh, and I said, I wish I'd known because I would have thrown it out. This is not a personal matter. We don't want death to anyone. What we want is a real peace process. And well, our at the same time, Arafat, Mr. Netanyahu, our at opposition the same time, to Arafat. Yes, you can ask me that in a minute, but you should yeah. make it clear to your uh, audience. Uh, our opposition to Arafat and to the PLO is that they've not renounced the idea of liquidating Israel. They've not abandoned the charter that calls for our destruction, even though they promised to do so. And I think this is what our problem is with this peace process: that Arafat in Arabic to Muslim audiences in Johannesburg and elsewhere is saying what we really want is a process to liquidate Israel. We want real peace, not a fake one. Well, I, I understand that and that's a point you've made twice. I think the difficulty for people outside Israel looking in is uh, that for total outright opposition to what's happening at the moment is so great it's tantamount to being equal to that of Hamas, the extreme uh, Islamic resistance. Oh, I'm sure uh, there, there'll be those who'll try to paint us and the Likud somewhere between Hamas and Hezbollah. That's a joke. We're committed to democracy. We're committed to peaceful demonstrations. We're committed to peace. We're the ones who went to Camp David. We're the ones who went to Madrid. I was there personally. And we're the ones who will make peace with Jordan, with the Palestinians, with Syria, the kind of peace that most Israelis, and I think most Britons and most Americans, most citizens of the world would expect for their country. Peace from a position that Mr. you can Net defend the peace. Mr. Netanyahu, thank you very much indeed for joining us from Israel. And that, from Jericho, is all from us in the Middle East. Now back to Zainab in London.